Only uh, it's, it's got to be Sorensen um, coming as a young lad. And he went on to take Peter Schmeichel's place in the Denmark side, but he was a fantastic, fantastic goalkeeper. Um, won games, but what, what he did, he, he had a calm influence as well. And I think I mentioned before on the other piece, anyone who saves a penalty at St. James' Park has got to be the goal. He played here for six months and he got injured and we missed him. But he, and I'm sorry for people who played a long time for me here, and there's one or two who will say, but Steve Bold was awesome. Awesome. If he hadn't got injured, we either, and I think he got injured in December, January, but he was, he was magnificent. So maybe a bit of a surprise choice, but he was that good. Might not surprise you, Bracewell gets in uh, on his last legs when I had him here, but I played with him at Everton. Absolutely outstanding, outstanding footballer. Great, great desire to win. Um, smiles once a year, visible <laughs> so and so, but when you're talking about a football player, And the other two, I'm going attacking wise, aren't I? The dynamic duo, you know? and there's, there's a loads of players I've I've missed out, and there's too many to mention because there's too many good players. But it's got to be uh, Quinn and Phillips, and um, that would be my ideal or my best five a side side um, out of the players I've managed there, but it was. An unfair and ridiculous <laughs> question, but I'd go for it. Even in five a side, I'd have the big man, and he'd get a few others in there as well. So that's me. That's me too. A few surprises. But <laughs> I'm going with that one. <laughs>